triumph. You have excelled in base villainy. For he who fights with monsters should look to it that he himself becomes a monster. When you gaze long into the abyss, the abyss also gazes into you. You have reached the time of majority, and you shall come into your birthright. But another seeks to disinherit you. Do not let her be your death. Memories flood back, snatches of your story written in the blood of a thousand victims. Years spent in worship of Baal, leading his savage congregation in prayer, sacrifice, and slaughter. You were their master, and he was yours. A cruel master, a dread lord, a devoted father. All is greater than you could have dreamed. You are a spawn of Baal, his heir, his scion. The cruelty of the Slayer leaps around within. You are not the last of your name. Not yet. There is another. The abomination wrapped in flesh you saw in the colony. Orin, dear sister, must die by your hand, an offering in Baal's sanctum. Your heart pines for the love of your lord. Today is a wonderful day for murder. A child of Baal. What horrors your mind must hold. She joins with your thoughts excitedly, unprepared for what she will find there, exposed to the limitless horror of your dreadful imagination. Minthara's mind buckles, snaps, and then burns hot. She absorbs every detail, whether memory or dream, and drinks deep of them. You sense a desire in her, equal in strength to your darkest urge. Elghor, Doktak, Slayer. There are many names for you, and all of them inspire dread. You are exquisite. I know. We must find the Temple of Baal, slaughter Orin and claim your inheritance. Then I will rule by your side, my slayer. I am yours. Come to me. I have never needed anyone, but I want you. The urges are calling on you again, aren't they? I haven't seen you sleep through the night once in the past days. I knew you had some nasty habits, but I didn't want to pry over much, but bloody hells! A Baal Probably more Baldurian parents scare their children with stories of your kind than mine. I thought your kind was extinct goes to show. You should always check your facts. So, how are you feeling? Keen to reconnect with your family? Or ready to throw yourself in an oubliette? You know, 
though I don't look a day over a hundred, I was alive in Baldur's Gate when the Baal spawn first arose. I was barely aware of it, locked in the kennels as a young spawn. Rather thrilling. I get to watch the bloodshed firsthand. I felt very unfashionable missing out last time. I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. <laughs> Neither will I, darling. At least I hope you'll come along for the show. But regardless, the plan is simple. Find him, stop him from gaining almighty power, and then really enjoy killing him. And if I can seize that almighty power for myself, well, all the better. Frey, thou disc durovna. Frey, Vald Iskablast. I feel we're intruding. We should leave quickly. Calm yourself. You will not be harmed. Our leader has called off the hunt. She wishes to speak to you. Im oraknete. Krasinetra. So. The impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. We have been looking for you. The last time your friend came to our camp, he stole our children, our future. When I was hunting you, I was to bring you back here, interrogate you, discover how to save our children, and then destroy you. But things have changed. You have changed. Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. It's a long story, honestly. Free. Not while his master still lives. But he has, perhaps, earned a second chance. We have tried to save our children once already, attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But if his own spawn approached, someone he thought he could control, he would throw his doors open and welcome you in. And once inside, you could do what we could not. You could save the children you damned. You don't know Kazador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children? But I promise you, they're already dead. I know our plight is grim, but if there is even a chance to save them, we must take it. If our children are truly gone, then we ask for blood. I know you can understand that, Spawn. I hoped to find at least one monster that could be redeemed, but it seems not. So, you leave us no choice. You are too dangerous to walk this world, Spawn. If you cannot be redeemed, then you must be destroyed. This city of storm and steel is an endless scream in nature's womb. I have felt no peace here. Your eyes, Stira. There is pain, endless and deep, but also devotion, blazing like the sun. You're in love, are you not? You are wise to admit it. When it comes to love, vulnerability is armor. Truth, a sword, and trust, a shield. 
I pray you wield all three, Stira. Bring the one you love to me. I will look into your hearts and see if your love is eternal or doomed eternally. I know my heart and yours better than this creature ever will. But we can indulge it if you wish. Close your eyes, little ones. Be still as stone to earth. And remember to breathe. than nature's due. I see you, know you, but do you know one another? Minthara, a mask of ice hides a heart of pure fire. You do well to call her close. Listen, think. What does the drow miss most about the Underdark? Not just siblings. Andracide, senicide, avunculocide. I only regret I left before enjoying a matricide. That would be a memory to cherish. Your bond beats in pleasure. It is an honor to behold. Many pass through our lives, their touch rippling across time. But who does Minthara admire the most? <laughs> Presumptuous, but not inaccurate. You have earned my companionship. That is no easy task. Our touch has been that of sunlight. But now we must ask the deep, the difficult. Those with an icy facade hide their true selves well. But pain breaks us all in the end. What is the worst thing your love has ever done? I do not know what weakness of mine allowed them to take me. That haunts me more than anything they did to me. Are we finished? You were only mildly disappointing. Well done. Your bond is seedling. One that needs a gentle hand in its tending. Nurture it, and it will become a great oak in time. Your love is one few have. Cherish it. Go in peace, seedlings, and know that you made one whose heart was long quiet beat with love anew. Buddy the dog is my very best friend. Do you know why? Why? Because with him, anything is pausable. Way! <laughs> Good puns. <laughs> because clowns aren't enough of a horror already. <laughs> you, my special assistant, come on up. Oh. 
A round of applause for the stalwart heart. tell children that they're special, that each and every one of them is unique. Tell me, what makes you special? Boring! Boring! Anyone can do that! You, my friend, are the most special person in the circus, in all of Baldur's Gate! Does anyone know why? Why? You're special, my friend, because I have a message just for you. Praise the Absolute. You sense something behind you. Instinct takes over. You fight good. Doppelganger. Not so good. <laughs> oh. It's Raphael's favorite misadventurer. Good to see you again. Even if you have put me out of pocket. The boss bet me five soul coins you'd reach the city in one piece. He rented a room upstairs in the hope that you'd drop by. Yes, you do. And what better place to do business than in the home of the oldest trade? Take your time. Have a drink. Sample the goods. Go see him when you're feeling refreshed. My, my. I can tell you are a special one from a single glance. You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. Don't be shy. What do you think, silly? Love, of course. Hot and vulgar with me, or sweet and sincere with my sister. Trust me, you don't want to miss my signature Mezzo Baranzan love trick. We are twins. Since I came to the surface, I purchased an enchantment to bless me with infertility, if that soothes your mind. Our bodies will haunt your dreams. In that case, we will require two of you. And indeed, I suggest it, because I have never seen a creature as fair as this pale bow beside you. <laughs> what a world. I never dreamed I'd be on the paying end in a brothel. But our leader here has made the dire mistake of failing to sleep with me so far, and it's a mistake I have been aching to correct. Oh, so eager. You're delicious. Charming. Quite the merry little party we have assembled here. Shall we? I hope you're not afraid of the dark, my darling. I must snuff out the lights before we begin. It's all part of the experience. The room is bathed in total darkness, so there is nothing to distract from your ecstasy. The lady, Nim, moves your hand to where the clasps of her blouse lie. All right, sweethearts. You dare to dance with a professional. You'll get your desire. 
His skin is like lusted pearls, almost translucent and so delicately smooth. He's so perfect. It could move even the toughest soul to tears. It's so easy to see why that body alone ruins so many lives. You haven't earned the right to stare at me like that. I can't help myself. You look so delicious. For this, I feel we should be paying you. Astarian lavishes attentions on everyone present with flawless technique, unfazed. It's all pure instinct, but when you meet his eye for a moment, there's a look about him that reveals he's a million realms away. Your parasite stirs, and you gaze at the nymph through the flaming fist's hungry eyes. Your muscles shiver with her longing. Your skin burns with her heat. Oh. What's... What's wrong, Jira? What are you... Wait. I know you. I most certainly do. Jara is the most valued... Your face. The Absolute has shown me. Jara, what's going on? Who's this man? Your head screams in agony. The change has come. Pustules boiling beneath your skin, your bones twisting, your flesh rupturing. And suddenly, silence. Hells, I'd heard tales of mind flayers, talons sharp as daggers, and tentacles yet more fearsome. But no tail did justice to its ethereal beauty. It floats like a butterfly. Its blood shimmers like silver. Is it not in the Elithid's barbarity that we find its splendor? Your eyes are no less monstrous, I assure you. A lesser woman might be frightened, but I am no lesser woman. Her gaze intensifies. Your breath quickens and your heart skips a beat. The woman's senses are heightened and her fire stoked. The mind flayer is no mere curiosity, but an object of desire. Why should I deny it? My urge is as natural as the grape upon the vine. But perhaps there are other flavors that might satisfy my palate. Rapture. Close your eyes and listen. You see only darkness. Her voice shines through it, warmer than the sun, yet cooler than night. The all-being. Here, there is no suffering. Here, you want for nothing. Here, you are anything. You have one word. Tell me, what will you be? You are more than powerful. An emperor to emperors. Your head adorned with a crown of gold, diamond and ruby. The heavens tremble with the steps of your army. All beasts, all men and women, all creatures of the plains bow to your might. 
Your flesh shivers, your heart bursts. True ecstasy for one fleeting moment. Open your eyes. I remember you, and you'll remember me. You must hear me, devil. I will do whatever it takes, give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it, and you never will. The Kithrak? What deal would he make with this devil? You must help me, Raphael, for the sake of my people. Hush now, Vos. These guests may not know it yet, but they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Lazel, Talak Magir. The devil holds the key to freeing the Gith people. Right here, right now. You could seal our fate. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. I'm glad you came. Not to my door, not yet, but to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. First time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. That was no party trick. Somebody's missing. Can't you tell? That illithid you keep in your pocket can't hear us anymore. I brought you here because I'm true to my word, and I can make all of this tadpole business go away, which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Unless some have already sprouted in places I can't see. Orpheus, is your only hope of surviving this horror show without devolving into an illithid. To you, he will be a friend. After all, you're at war with an elder brain. Perhaps it is true that Orpheus would ally with you against the elder brain. But if he proves uncooperative once free, you may have to kill him. The Orphic Hammer, an artifact capable of shattering the chains that hold Prince Orpheus, is held securely in my House of Hope, even now. Good and truth rarely go hand in hand, but in this case, they are happy bedfellows, and we can be too. I swear to you, I have the solution to your problem. Isn't it just? And it's even more convenient that you can give me exactly what I want in return. Power. You free Orpheus, and in doing so, save the city, the Sword Coast, perhaps the whole world, and your own precious skin, too. And you give me the crown that dominates the Elder Brain. And you, Lazel of Kalir, want to free the Forgotten Prince, do you not? I want nothing more. Then it is settled. Is it not? A crown for a hammer. A bargain of a lifetime, Lazel of Kilir. 
Handing that crown to this devil will be like feeding gunpowder to a lava worm. Agree to nothing. It is inevitable. When you destroy the brain, and you will because you must, the crown will be yours for the taking. And when that moment comes, you give the crown to me. In exchange, I give you the hammer now. A simple transaction, it seems, but it's more than that. He's offering you an alternative to the mind flare in your head. Take Raphael's deal and you could free Orpheus. With Orpheus free, you would have no need to rely on the Emperor. But there's no guarantee that Orpheus would be on your side. And if you take the deal, you'll have to fulfill it. You'll have to deliver the crown of Carsus to the devil himself. Skvar! We should do as the devil asks. The Prince of the Comet must rise again. <laughs> oh, I'm, I, I'm sorry, you were serious? The Crown has laid low all who attempt to harness its power. Archwizards, Emperors, Gods. It would tear you apart. I won't stop you. But time is running out. So, don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here, waiting. Right up to the moment the world ends. We must claim the crown of Carsus for ourselves, before anyone else does. Loosing the Prince of the Comet was within our grasp, and you refused it. Why? Chuk. I wanted to follow the open valley, the easy way out. You chose the bramble path. I'm annoyed by it. And I admire you for it. We must speak with Voss. Then we find our way to Raphael's House of Hope. We'll take the Orphic Hammer and use it to smash the true heir's bonds. Yisk Githkar Chafki Krashed. The Githyanki will be free. Voss, friend to the Comet. Lazel of Kalir, warrior of warriors. Tell me you took the Devil's deal. Tell me you will free Gith's heir. Shkaketh! Orpheus will be free. There is no cost too high to unshackle my people. No more than Vlakith will sow in Tunarath and beyond. No more than the Geich will sow across every plain. There is nothing I won't do, nothing I won't give to free Orpheus from the prison. The marks I bear are proof enough of that. But you... You are the one who carries the astral prism. You are the one who must free the prince. Find a way to retrieve the hammer and free Orpheus from the prism. I will assemble his remaining honor guard and plan our next actions. Together, we will yet free the true heir of Gith's blessed empire. He will free us from Vlakith and lead our Kithraki against the Geich. Is tick. I will wait in the underground. Seek me when you have the hammer in hand. You are wasting your time and mine. Our true enemy is the Elder Brain. Focus your mind there. I do not want a devil to hold my fate in his hands any more than a god. I say we put the devil from our minds and trust in ourselves. If anyone should have the power of the crown, it should be us. Exquisite.